itself says that it happened as a response to what the commercial enterprises are excluding. Kasi hindi namin itong magagawa sa mega mall, so we do it here, sa Big Sky Mine versus around my water. Of course, the in-between is the most parang, uh, parang easiest accessible because it's both a commercial enterprise and a uh, experimental venue. Okay. So another art space that is relevant to us, meaning the community of South practitioners, are bars. No, uh, again, in the 1990s, we have Club Dread, Mayor Dicks, and our favorite children of Cathedral, mm -hmm. Red Rocks. <laughs> this is technically not an art-coded space. It's a leisure space that's different. Uh, but because of the nature of sound art and noise being already consumed, uh, bars too may be considered a space where community of now sound practitioners uh, were built. No? Uh, now, the, the third question, what is or what are art movements? Uh, by definition, art movements is a style or a tendency that shares a philosophy over a certain period of time. Uh, these are the isms that we study in art history or we refer to when writing to sound a little smarter joke. <laughs> to sound that we are historically informed. Sound art and other arts in the interstices are considered part of the contemporary art movement. What it does is to map out the style within the time-space paradigm of literate society. Okay? Uh, the role, uh, following this, is the role of what we call curators. The role varies uh, from selecting and identifying what belongs and what not to include in exhibit, performance, publication. A curator may also assist in realizing a project. Sometimes I do this with the artists I work with, yung nakakailang pa sa production. Uh, or direction of his or her practice mismo, yung mismo practice, by asking questions that the artist might not realize by himself. In other words, a curator is a creative and logistic auxiliary of an artist. No? But uh, given that be, be, given that it's it's important to the present practice, nagiging na rin position of power and inevitably of responsibility. The second talking point is the importance of collaboration and how to establish how to establish cooperation between art movements. So, uh, collaboration and cooperation are crucial in community building, not only for the arts, but in any sort of association. It is simply being together, being with others in particular endeavor. Uh, as mentioned, sharing is in the heart of the community. Therefore, the two key words are very important. I'm not exactly sure what the second question means, no? you know, how to establish cooperation between art movements. But if this means how one art, such as sound art, have cooperation with another art, say street art, no? this is already happening. As uh, arts beyond fine art studio practice, meaning painting, sculpture, and print, so anything beyond that, especially those that are in between, say, media art, performance art, and sound art, are by, nat by nature plural or multi. No? It means that the very form requires an artist of this practice to work with those who are in the other arts. Uh, you'll see this in the performance later. There is then no formula that can be followed. It happens when, whether we like it or not. Your cooperation and collaboration. So if it doesn't happen, then you don't have a community. Ganun lang siya simple. Uh, third talking point is this. How to ensure a community by connecting past movements to present while looking for the future. So the answer to the question is already in the question. To, to ensure continuity of practice, we have to be able to connect the past present and future. Sound practice in the Philippines, which includes noise, sound art, non-academic electronic ex and experimental music, I have to categorize that so I don't get in trouble with art, other colleges, are in the perpetual state of emergence. Or it remains an emerging art for a very long time now because we have not done any mapping of it. No, wala pa siya To document the past, to locate us in the present, and to project our future. Developing the sound art course in UP and writing and publishing about us in the academic journals are efforts towards this endeavor. This is what we've been doing for the past three years now. Uh, these are efforts that ensures that we will have a future. Unfortunately, whether we like it or not, the world does not only require proof of life. 
our existence has to be authenticated. So when you go, kunyari sa palabas ka ng bansa, di ba, sa immigration, nandung ka na, kaharap ka na ng tao, hinga ka pa ng ID, hinga ka pa. Yung proof of, per, you know, authenticate yung person mo. So it's the same thing in the arts, no? In the art world. Unfortunately, it is not enough that we keep on producing work. Uh, no matter how sipag we are in producing activities, in performing, in doing exhibitions, in doing talks like this, but if we don't map ourselves against the time, space-time paradigm of historicity of the literate society, hindi tayo kasali. Lagi lang tayo emerging. No? Unless we are documented and historicized. Yes. Um, so when you mean mapping, do you are you specifically talking about writing? Yes. Written record? Yeah. You have to be recorded. Does it? You don't specifically mean on paper. Pwede in, no. like in the internet. Like para that, can, internet, no? that is useful. No, that is useful. Kasi yung bawa, uh, we wouldn't, we, how would you know that there are performers who were doing something, do, doing kunyari, sin, uh, since 1990s, kung hindi siya documented? No? So, you would feel like, if you, dis, you, you would always feel like you just, just discovered it, no? Mm. Kung, hindi mo, kung hindi siya na document. Public you, record. Oo, oh, kung hindi siya na document. Unfortunately nga, sabi ko, Eh, we are living in a literate society, so unless it can be read, hindi siya nagmamatter masyado. Mm -hmm. no? uh, so, actually, in the 90s, this has been recognized. So, si Mr. Malam yata yung may effort. Merong art magazine, art uh, periodical siyang nilalabas. As in the painter, Malam? As in the painter, Malam. So, para kasi, ayun na nga, uh, it is recognized that unless you're written down, hindi ka kasali. Yes. Yun yung ano. Okay, so uh, this is the reason why the four question is very relevant. Now, initially, when you look at the four talking points, parang hindi sila magkakakonekta. Pero if you look at that in this perspective, establishing an archive becomes very important. Now, documenting and archiving our practice individually as, or as a community is important. So, uh, I can only say this is why I'm doing this. Now, I, I recognize the importance. So, I have done three major archives since I started doing sound studies in 2013. So the first one was an option of my old prod, old uh, position. So ito yung Center for Ethnomusicology sa UP, which contains the Osema Seda collection of Philippine Ethno Ethnomusicology surveys since 1970s to 1990s. It is not sound art, it is music, but it is important to our community uh, because many of the earlier uh, earlier pr practitioners take inspiration from the collection. So also for me, this was my trigger to study sound studies. No, ito yung dito ako nagsimula ng sound archive. So the next one is Sonic Manila Research, which I started in 2014. Uh, it is online also. So this one, I built this because I was looking for sound artists in Manila. Uh, um, this was the beginning, and uh, dito ko rin nakilala yung naging unang teacher ko, si Michael Brewster, uh, sa Claremont University, sa Sound Studies. So sabi niya sa akin, pag-aral ka na ng, ituloy-tuloy muna, kasi wala pa ang gumagawa ng sa inyo. So, tituloy ko na siya. Uh, my PhD ended in, so I was, I, I did my PhD 2015 and 2016, and then I skipped because I, you know, you know what happened? So I started again 2018 and I finished 2019. So uh, three years, no, altogether. Uh, this is the product of that search. Uh, this is an online, diba? So di pa, silent di pa siya online. So this is, sorry, it's Chinese. <laughs> Kasi uh, I did my PhD in Hong Kong and the project that funded the online archive is in Taipei. Kasi wala tayong pera dito. So this is my section. Kaya tanginting, ano? So you're all here. Maniwala na lang kayo na nandito kayo. Masa mo? Kaya ang big sky mind. Nalang ka lang, Roberto Chavez. Rahalin lang na kami. Tapos, si Lirio, di ba? He's here. Ito yung mga in-archive. Si Piniscan nila, Mary Ann. Habang nag-i-thesis ako. Ayan pa. Puro na kapsitan. Si Lirio. Sino yung isa kami, Ann? Diba naka-bond si Charlie? Charlie. That's Tad. 
documenting in the floral blouse. Floral blouse, thank you. <laughs> this is it surrounded by water in Ortigas. And Gono. That's a corner of Ortigas. This is in the Gono. I was there when they, when they did this. So yeah. No, ito yung... Ito yung... Ah, King Rocks yun, ha? Oh, Oo. Oh. Tapos ito yung mas, mas early, mas later na na... Sila Pilapini na to sa Big Papaya na to. Pero isa lang ang picture na nahirap ko. This was in Big Sky Mine. Ay, 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 sa mountain pa na to. So, uh, where's this? Ito yung Big Sky. Sound lang ni Jet. Ito yun. Okay, ayan. So yun, as I was saying, the early years, the term sound art has been thrown around quite a lot. No? Then I ask, when do they know? When do the artists know? When you when you are you doing sound art and when are you doing music? Kasi masyado magkalapit, especially in composite. Sabi nila lahat hindi nila alam. Honestly, <laughs> fine. But it was then that some people, who, but I noticed also that some people kept showing up on events that are sound related or noise related para alam nila kung saan susunod na pupunta so merong nagkakaalaman hindi ko alam kung secret society siya or what so what I did is I proposed to find sound art you have to find where the sound artists are no? so ginawa ko, sinundan ko sila yan, si Natal ang gateway ko si Mark Lakay kasi we're doing uh, audio archiving sa UP so si Mark ganit pakilala sa akin kay Tad tapos Sinistock ko na si Tad. Si Arvin kasi is a friend from college. So madali din kay Arvin, uh, kay Khalid, no? siya din yung isa pang naging gateway ko para mahanap yung sound artist. Kaso, when they started asking uh, these people if they are sound artists, nasagot din na hindi sila sound artists. Hence, the title of the exhibit last year is There is no sound artist, just sound art. So, ito na yung ending niya. Uh, so, and, uh, siguro in, to, wrap, to wrap it a bit up, uh, last year uh, we did the, the listening biennial here in Manila and I would like to share that with this preview of one of the articles that came out of the experience with the community of sound practitioners in Manila and by extension Asian cities, wherein I posited that the efficacy of a community uh, is in the tambay. <laughs> Tamba is the best platform for community building. We hang out, no? Yung hindi, ayan ang title, no? Repurposing and purposeness of Tamba. Because Tamba is not doing nothing. It is hanging, it is being in a space. Like, this is a Tamba, right? So, ayan, ito may picture. This is Hong Kong, yung mga OFW. Sa, na, dumawa sila ng Tamba. Dumawa sila ng city na sa Central, di ba? And this is us making Tamba in a little top after the day of sound recording. So, okay, so in the spirit of Tambay and shameless plug, I'm doing this project. <laughs> I'm doing this project next month uh, for the record open studio for archiving community practice. Uh, I would like to invite you all to Tambay with me in post gallery. Uh, this project will close my decade-long research from 2013 to 2023. Yung Sony Manila research, I'm closing it. Kasi kailangan natin na move forward and I'm opening another uh, thematic research which is the research on soundscape recording as an art practice. No? Which is in line with uh, many things. So anyway, uh, we're going to have several activities. So there's the practice timeline wherein I will post the annex of my dissertation as an exhibition. Uh, and then some artists will do their section exhibition. Ito yun. And then we'll have a sound camp on the 24th to 28th. Unfortunately, all slots for the exhibit, not unfortunately, but just so you know, as of, to, as of day, all the slots for the exhibition and uh, the sound camp are all filled. You know? So for the sound camp, we have four resource persons. Uh, Cedric Meredith is French. Akapong is home tea. Uh, Ryo Ikeshihiro is Japanese, obviously, and Robin Rivera is ours. No, it's, it's ours. <laughs> it's from Manhinga. Ito yung mga resource person natin for the, what you call it, the sound cap. Yun. So, 
uh, this is going to be a fruit. This is going to be like a month long tambay. Sabi ko nga, if you have an activity in mind, since pinahirap ang bike ng, pub, ng, po, ng Pablo Post, no? uh, si Yo at si Ozzy, because they are actually supporting our endeavor since long after, long before, uh, pinahirap nila yung gallery ng buong buwan. So if you have an activity that you can think of, kunyari si Ramon maisipan niya isang araw, gusto kong mag mag-perform ma'am nang wala lang gusto ko lang perform so pinili niyo lang kasi you can use the space as long as uh, you know you just have to let me know okay or sila just pag sila no no ay naaya ko na tumutulong doon para so yun uh, yeah this is my take on the community sim teams uh, talking points that were shared that were uh, shared to me by the organizer you may now ask questions comments hinahin Hindi na yun talaga. Gusto nyo pa si Gipin Hindi pa ito pala available by the way online. It's not kasi, online. Huh? Uh, it is online but it's on beta. Kasi may mga inaayos pang glitches. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's 90s. And then, uh, ito yung 60s. Ang pago ko dito is before sound art. No? So, this is from the Maceda collection. That's on 9. And cassettes 100. Uh, this is cassettes 100. Some of you were part of cassettes 100. This is the first project that that Tad and Tad and I did with the rest of the boys. Uh, you were there. I don't know. We can check it out. <laughs> so, uh, we bought exhibit in 2013 and listen to my music. So, si La, si Paolo, si si Malek, si G. Si Arvin, si Arvin, si John. Ayan, sila yung mga... Si Kasali, si John, since 2013. <laughs> 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 so, at si Judy, si Maya. Si si Maya, no? Si so, is there na. no plans to, ano, to have uh, an English counterpart? Chinese or English. Uh, publication na English. Ah. Oo. So, available siya sa Fine Arts Library sa Adita, sa, sa Adita, sa Adita, uh, binigyan ko. Sila which, yung binigyan which is this? Yes. 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 Almost 90% the same. Kasi that mas medyo maraming essays. Okay. Ito kasi archive lang talaga siya. So, it's a depository. May sound ba yan? Uh, wala. <laughs> Dapat meron, pero wala pa. Ngayon. Ito yung 2000s. To be explained. Ito na yung kamuling public radio. Ni Arvin, tsaka ni Eric. Hmm. Ito si, sino nga to? Joe. Ah, si, si, si John Romero. <laughs> So si ano si Kalif yeah, Arvin diyan. Arvin oh. Tas may nakaganon ng kalif. Eh. Si Maria at si Chris. Hmm. Ito sa ano na to eh sa post. Okay. What is that? Ito yung WhatsApp. Green sun. Di pa ay. Wala na yun bag na yun. Tatu ang. Oh pero wala yata ako na sa green sun. Di ako nakakuha ng permission to use it so yung post. Ito kayo ito tal, di ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ano ito, na ito? Ako yun. Ano ito ko niya? Ha? Ano ito ko niya siya? Yeah. Hindi ko. Ako pa yung tatanagin mo sa gana. Sa tatanagin. I remember that. Yeah. So, ayun. Questions? Ayun. Um, thank you, Dr. Dayan. So, if meron kayo immediate questions, pwede na ngayon. Sige. Later meron din. Na mas comprehensive. Ano, parang in, in, ah. Uh, okay. Okay na. Oo, okay na. No, but I, but I want to ask, I want to ask sort of like, because you mentioned the curators and the historians, I believe, like that. But um, how does, say, 
how important or how does a theoretician weave into this? What's a theoretician? And that would be the other, the side question. Maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, well, because these are people who do scholarship. So you have historians who, who record. Uh, there are theoricians who call out concepts that are coming from the practice or they assign concepts that are tested on practice. Yeah. So like, well, parang ay, So, kung yari now, oh, no, sino no. ang theoretician? There are no theoreticians. Ah. Well, there are, there are many theoreticians. So like, see, David Walrath is like a theoretician of noise. And, but there's hardly... Yung kilala natin. Oh, that would be me. Hindi na ne, pero it's really almost by default. Kasi yeah. I occasionally have ideas of right, like, parang... Right. What links my practice with everybody else's? Because, okay, okay, let me just. I, I didn't mean for this to be a leading question. I really meant to ask your opinion on it. Yeah. But now that we're. I have the floor. No. It's like, <laughs> I, know, I was talking to. I was talking to Tenga about. Mm. Ano, about a friend of ours who was recently deceased. This Ed Edselo. And then he was like saying that Edsel was a bit resentful because, or at least had regrets because he said that nobody wrote about yeah. his pioneering work in video projections. And I was like telling him, oh my, even Kokoy Dumbao is only writing about video art in terms of like finished taped works. But he's not talking about like spoken cinema, which is like, you know, but improvised cinema, improvised, you know, like uh, work. And then I was like saying, but yeah, but the thing there is that parang ano, eh, nobody, the, 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 the category that, 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 ano, that Edsel was working in is very loosely defined and it's not kind of a mushy idea. As in, it's the theorists are the ones who like create the categories and without these categories, history cannot be unwritten, cannot be written because like you have, a, you have, a, you have an incident, it's like, oh, um, this festival X happened on December 12, 2019. But unless you can say that, unless you have like some kind of framework that says, but, uh, this is an example of this, or an example, a specimen of this kind of art. So but you have to have like a category. Without yeah. that category, the history yeah. cannot be written. So that's the role of like the theory. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so, well, okay. So as of now, there are very few of us who are doing dual or multiple roles. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, okay, so multiple roles ang ino occupy natin uh, sa practice natin sa Manila. No? Uh, not because, ay, hindi, because pala, uh, ang to, because uh, we are not, uh, we are not people of, we're very oral. No, uh, we're still in that in that sort of quote, we are still in that sort of culture of oral tradition. We would rather sit down and talk, or we are, but we are okay na with talking. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of the world, especially the Western world, which canonizes all these art histories, I twitter it. So they have it has to be written, okay? So, uh, since, since bago, uh, mali yung term ko, since hindi naman natin siya focus, uh, gumagawa tayo ng sarili natin uh, approach on how we do things, right? So me, uh, as a scholar, I do all of this. I am able to write uh, my dissertation. I would, tama si Tal, I wouldn't be able to write my dissertation which is conditions of enablement of sound practices in the Philippines and Hong Kong. I would have been able to write that if I had not theorized the practice that I've witnessed. Okay? But, 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 babalik ako dun sa archiving. The first, the first step to be able to theorize ay sa aking palagay ay to know the practice first. Mm. I am very, how do you call this? I'm, pre I'm so much prejudiced with theoricians who does not have practice that backs their theories. 
because I like the taxonomy of sound practice that I wrote on the Philippine practice is backed up by evidence. Hindi ko hindi ko basta kinuha somewhere na okay there's installative, performative, compositive and combination. Hindi ko siya inimbento. Nag-survey ako ng practices before I was able to say oh, etong apat na taxonomy ang generally available sa practice sa Pilipinas. Okay? So, I have not uh, so far in the decade that I'm engaged in this art, in this community, wala pa akong na-encounter na, na, na binug binugbukos yung efforts into doing this, into yeah. documenting, into, uh, like, uh, yeah, into documenting in, for the purpose of, of art, historicizing the practice, wala pa, or theorizing the practice, wala pa. Pero, I feel like, after the pandemic, ang laki ng pagbabago. Kasi una, there are sound artists who call themselves sound artists now. Kyle. <laughs> si Kyle. Na si Kyle ngayon ang sit. Late, late. Late, okay. di ba? Meron ng ganon. Dati kasi lahat sila, bawa, si Tad, he calls himself a media artist or an artist, period. Or si Ian, no? Media artist. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, people in the WhatsApp will call themselves sound artists. Pero pag tinanong mo sila, are you sound artist? Hindi. Sagot nila, hindi. Automatic. Di ba? <laughs> Kung hiling si Ramo. Eh, ganun kasi, di ba? Hindi rin eh. Si Ramo, tatanong, sound artist ka ba? Hindi. Pero yung ginagawa <laughs> niya... Uh -oh. Pero yung ginagawa niya kasi, pasok dun sa definition what sound art is. So, you know, how will you deal with that? How will you, as, as, as a documenter, as a historian, how will you put that into record? My Kung sabi yung mismo tao na hindi, siya, na hindi siya sound artist, pero yun yung ginagawa niya. So, ito yung mga challenges. This makes, histo this makes art history exciting. Itong mga gantong animosity. Otherwise, diba, we're just pen and paper. Sige, go ahead. Tapi yang aku mau aku mau tanya. Kau tak kau mau yang mana lagi si Marco? Record, betul ke? Kasi nga magpag ako, sinabi niyo, there's a lot of sound artists out there. Tapos yung isa naman, tinanong, what are, kung sa English, tanong yung kono klase ng sound artists. Kung sa ano klase ng artists ka? Kung ano klase ng artists ka? Dahil hindi mo sabihin, ano po yung category bago para tawag yung sound artists ang isang Ah, Or, um, no. sa okay. uh, hindi kasi yung theorician ang nagsasabi na ikaw ay sound artist. You have to claim yourself oh. of the label that you are going to use. Well, can I say, can I respond to that? Para po, oh, as in para, actually, pwede, pwede mong, pwede mong, pwede, ano yun? Ano na? Sabi si Tan. But the question can face <laughs> in the other direction. <laughs> Bakit hindi mo tinatawag mo sa sarili mo sa mga artist? Anong tawag mo sa sarili mo? Hindi. Yun nga mo sa... Hindi, ikaw. Anong, anong, anong tawag mo sa sarili mo? Anong klaseng artist ka ba? Hindi ko tawag mo. So, hindi mo sinasari. Wala ka sinasari. Hindi ko tawag mo ba yung sarili mo na artist? Oo. Oh. Oh, parang... Ano pa rin siya work ka na? Ikaw yung presidente ng Rambo is... Hindi. I would like to offer a hypothesis. No, uh, I would like to offer a hypothesis kasi hindi lang naman ikaw yung unang tao na oh. nagkaroon ng ganyang dilemma. Actually, even in Hong Kong, when I was doing the research, mayroong mga ganyan na at tinanong ganyan sa akin ng supervisor ko. Pag sinabi nila na sound artist sila, pero yung ginagawa nila, pasok dun sa category ng what you consider sound art. What do you do with it? Uh, okay, ang hypothesis ko, bakit kaya hindi tinatawag ng maraming sound artist sa Pilipinas and other parts, na sound artist sila kasi hindi lang yun ang ginagawa nila. 
Sabi ko nga, in our art world, we're always multi and plural. Like kanina, <coughs> we introduce Alan, he's a painter. But I'm sure Alan does something else besides paint, right? Nagmibuto ka, whatever. Diba? He do something else, like jazz. Jazz is a musician, but no, he's now dabbling into, I don't know what else. Ano mo ginagawa mo? <laughs> so, meron, meron kasi ganoon. Kaya, that is, that is parang 90% uh, proof na, na parang infallible yung ano na yun, sa Pilipinas. Kaya, the reason why people refuse to label themselves as sound mm -hmm. artists is because they are not only sound artists. Like, Water Quasso is one of the earliest who did sound art that I know of in the 90s. Yung yelo niya na kumakanta ng bayang mga gilo, di ba? But he would not call himself a sound artist. No? So yun. Uh, pero yung kasi pag-relabel uh, comes, comes in many direction. Uh, pwede yung, yung community, yung, how do you call this? Yung nagpa-patronize sa work mo, they'll give you a label. No? Yung kunyari, pick. Kunyari sabihin na, ah, painter siya or sculptor siya. Una, kung ano yung ginagawa mo. Pangalawa, kung ano yung ilalabel sa inyong community na nagsusupport sa'yo. Pero, ang ultimate dyan, ano yung tawa mo sa sarili mo? ba diba? Kasi kahit sabihin ko as an art historian or a curator, if I say, Tad is a sound artist, pag sinabi ni Tad na hindi naman ako sound artist, hindi eh, di ba diba? As I said, these people, the other actors in the community, of some of the, the practice are auxiliary of the artist. Meaning, ang nasa gitna ay yung artist. Okay? Siya pa rin yung primary character. So, kung ano yung gusto niyang sabihin at gawin, yun yung, uh, yun yung panggagalingan dapat ng no, theorization. Okay? Uh, I have, sorry, that meron nang naisip na i-connect uh, If I wrote something, it's called Understanding the Sound Practice in Manila. Uh, it's available online. Hanapin nyo na lang siya. Alam nyo na yung pangalan ko, so it's my whole name, is the author. Okay, doon din describe ko kung anong itsura ng community ng, ng practice. No? So I said that our community is porous. No? Butas butas siya and no doubt. Uh, meaning porous para people in the, in the community can go in and out. Like, I didn't come in until 10 years ago. Hindi, kahit nakilala ko yung mga practitioners, hindi naman ako part ng sound community until I started saying, I'm interested to be here. I want to be here. Okay? So I started going to the gigs and interviewing people and doing curating exhibitions. Okay? Uh, and it is no doubt. Meaning, merong mga avenues where other practices can attach or other institutions can attach. For example, every time we have a gathering sa uh, may gig or ano, merong merchandise. Diba? Merong mga, meron mga gumagawa ng ganito, may gumagawa. Or merong, yeah, may exhibit, case in point. Diba? Merong mga street artists, may etc. And it has a mobile core. Meaning, hindi isang, hindi siya isang importante yung tao lang. It's a mobile core, meaning gumagalaw. Like, for example, uh, we all know that Tengal started Wasap, but Wasap isn't only Tengal, no? Uh, marami siya kasama. Uh, at one point, Wasap yung pinaka maraming nangyayari sa atin dito sa Manila. Tapos they stop. Now it's in the side naman. So mobile yung core. It doesn't, gumagalaw siya. And it's not always Metro Manila. Some, at one point, it was in Cavite. In the 90s, early 90s, it was in uh, Angolo, di ba? And now, in, in the Visayas, they have their own scene. No? So, yun yung, uh, so your question is located in a community that looks like this. Hindi siya nakamapa, hindi siya parang Philippine government na you have the president, senator, etc. Nagbabago yung itsura niya para tayong virus. <laughs> Nag-mutate. Nag parang ganyan. That's the easiest explanation for me. Oo, para siyang nag-commute eh. O, parang hindi mo sa buong. Oo. Lirio. Yeah, no, no, I was wondering if Lirio, who invented the word sound art. He calls him, he's the first one. He calls himself that. He was the first one. Oo. Even the organization, sound, exists. Exists, oo. Exists, it's the first organization. Experimentation in sound art tradition. Yeah. So, sa 
sa dissertation ko, which also is available online, kung pagtatagaan nyo, medyo mahaba siya. Pero si Lirio yung unang nagsabi, naggamit ng word at nag-claim na ako ay isang <coughs> Although he started as a... Sculptor. Sculptor. Okay? So, yung back questions, reserve mamaya, kasi meron lang na rin. <laughs>